What happened to your armor? You always kept it so neat. You've caught the eye of someone important. If you're interested in making good pay and a good friend, head to the Narrows at the western end of the gully. Once you reach the alleys, go right and right again as soon as you can. Then, follow the bend to the left. The bullies guarding the door have a weakness for Chewing's Fev. You can follow their trail. Tell them Dario sent for you. And remember your manners. One of my order is cast out. We are obligated to remove the suns from our armor and wear it as a sign of our disgrace. You deserve leaders who honor your devotion. In their eyes, my devotion was misplaced. Perhaps it was. At least now I have another chance to prove myself to them. At once, I think Beha did right leaving the gullet. She went and did what she needed. I'll miss Beha and her elk. It's too quiet without them. May they go find fortune. One kid's treasure is actually our treasure. Oh, I love this part. Done and done. What can I do? The hero of the Reparu visits me at last. You must forgive the cryptic introduction, but I prefer to remain among the comforts of home. Though these are modest luxuries compared to those on offer at the palace. But had I only known there was a watcher in my midst, I would have extended the invitation sooner. A pleasure. I am thinking we could be grand friends, you and I. You cannot have too many friends in Nekataka. That depends on the type of friend we're talking about. And I need only a favor. An insignificant thing for a watcher like you. There is an artifact called the Cornet of Waves, which is currently in the possession of a Juana named Takano. I would like you to liberate it for me. Watch. 
watchers see what many cannot. Takano is a man of many vanities, as your special gifts will no doubt reveal. His villa is on the eastern edge of Serpent's Crown, just downwind of the palace. The opportunist I first hired was too bold and found herself ejected from the district. With your genteel manners and unique talents, I am hoping you can avoid such complications and persuade Takano. After all, it would be best to avoid drawing the ire of our Mataru hosts. When you have the cornet, bring it to me. I will pay you well for it, and you will find my favor useful in this part of the city. It is an old Juana artifact, a musical instrument of sorts. Ages ago, it was part of a pair, but its companion, the Cornet of Depths, was lost when the old city sank. Both are said to carry the voice of Andra herself. I do not believe in such superstition, of course. know of the cornet. Now, I suggest you focus your sharp mind on retrieving it. What do you require? A woman of principle. In Nekataka, that is rarer than teeth in a clam. Keep it. Who says virtue is its own reward? Why must we speak of sides, like squabbling merchants from the republics? Ah, oh, our merchants squabble. I imagine your pirates do not bother with the squabble and just put a bullet through the head of whoever displeases them. Better to spend lead than waste words, Aimeka. Once, there were no sides. Only Principi, a people united by common interest and culture. But as our fame has grown, so have our numbers. Many of these new bloods have no sense of restraint and little regard for our heritage. But we need them still. The new bloods are Principi too now, and many are inventive in ways the old god is not. A storm, a rash decision, and an accident at sea. One that took my sailing days, but not my skill with a needle. Life in the dead fire is unpredictable. Sometimes it takes you in its jaws only to spit you out onto some new shore. Patience. First, you must bring me the cornet of waves. Certainly.